Dysmenorrhea, or period pain, is extremely common and occurs in a majority of women, usually without any other kind of disease or medical concern. That being said, it still really can be debilitating and uncomfortable, and it's one of the leading causes of absenteeism from work or school. Now, if you go to your family doctor and talk to them about period pain, one of the first things they'll likely talk to you about is trying some over-the-counter NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen. I wanted to bring this up because I've definitely heard people talking before about how they have this really terrible period pain and how their doctor just told them to go home and take an ibuprofen, feeling like they were just being dismissed or their concern wasn't being taken seriously. And while I can't guarantee that wasn't the case, what I can say is that NSAIDs really are first-line therapy for period pain, and with good reason. The way NSAIDs work is by inhibiting molecules called cyclooxygenase, which go on to create prostaglandins, the molecules directly responsible for pain, inflammation, and uterine contractions. So when you're told to try taking an NSAID, it isn't just to help reduce pain, but it actually directly reduces the strength of the uterine contractions that are causing that period pain too. And for about 80% of people, that really is enough. They can be taken starting a day or so before the start of menses and during the first couple of days when prostaglandin levels are normally highest. However, if you are struggling with period pain, I would still strongly recommend meeting with your primary care doctor to discuss it so they can make sure you're taking appropriate doses, make sure you don't have any contraindications, and so they can follow up with alternatives if it doesn't help, and so they can help evaluate for any other possible causes of period pain as well if needed.